Um, Andreas. What is it? What happened with the Imperial spies we detained the other day? They were but foot soldiers. They had naught of value to offer. I see. So, what will you do with them? They will stay in custody for now. We may be able to leverage them as hostages at some point. Oh, I am relieved. Hostages are a valuable commodity in war, Eumerida. Of course. Now, if there's nothing else... Oh, yes. I'd best be off then. It is time to reclaim what is rightfully ours. Lorraine, if you would. The Vermin Navy has commenced its assault. This is our cue to proceed south. They will draw the Empire's attention outwards to the sea, while we strike their headquarters in Dagland from the north. I shall expel all invaders from my land. Let us begin. The Vermin Navy is quite something. They seem to use the same modern magic as the Empire. And clearly the Empire sees them as a threat. They've left very few units behind. It's all falling into place. It is time to rid Diofield of the Empire, once and for all. The enemy is trying to rally in order to hold their line. We will have our work cut out breaking it, thanks to those weapon emplacements. We must destroy them if we want to push forwards. Everyone, move out! I've got it. I 
can barely stand. Through. We're not out of the woods yet. Momentum is on our side. Let us press home our advantage. Go. Understood. Destination. Very well. 
I'll take you down. Seize Long victory! Live the Empire! I've got it. It's been secured. I'm on my way. Really my style. The power of restoration. Go. I'll take you down. Destination. Understood. Understood. Very well. Go. On my way. Go. On my way. Seize victory! <clears throat> I've got it. Understood. That appears to be the last of the enemy forces. Our victory is imminent. Once it is done, nothing shall prevent me from becoming king. Everyone, follow me! I've got it. I'll clear a path. Long live the 
another foe defeated. Very well. I've got it. Go. On my way. Understood. Stand. Moving to the destination. The power of restoration. Destination. Very well. I'll take you down. 
the gun with you. Levantia Shatham, and I shall bring glory to Alatane. I hope you have not forgotten our arrangement, good king. No, I have not forgotten. Very good. Then I believe there is nothing more to discuss. Indeed not. I have preparations to take care of. Yes, of course you do. Having expelled the Empire with the aid of the Alliance, the Blue Foxes return to Central Field. A coronation ceremony presided over by the new Archbishop, Hezelia Shatham, is convened, and Frederick takes the throne as King Levantia Shatham, the twelfth King of Alatane. But in the shadow of the pageantry, two men face off. Andreas has confronted Iscarion. Iscarion states his intention to leave the Blue Foxes, having become unable to reconcile his beliefs with the unit's actions. However, Andreas has no intention of allowing his departure. The two stared each other down. The tension in the air could have been cut with a knife. But in the end, Andreas relents. In the moments before departing, Iscarion thanks his former leader, but cannot stop himself leaving one final warning about the path their actions may lead them down. Unable to respond, Andreas watches as his former comrade walks away, once and for all. Iscarion had long been relied upon as the unit's chief coordinator, and his departure shakes them. But then, a scout brings an urgent message. It seems the Alliance forces stationed in Dagland trading port have started looting in Southfield. And Frederick's reign as king threatens to have a most inauspicious opening chapter. 